I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. Whoa. What's going on everyone? Sweet Teddy Brown here and we're back off another episode of The Witcher. In a previous episode, we uh, starting exploring the, the island, like Burn Island, that's probably not the name. Terrible with names, but started exploring an island and uh, we found Alvin here. <laughs> now we're searching for a name. Very descriptive, I know. Ooh, okay. Greetings, I'm Adam. Oh, hello. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. Okay... You're in love with Alina? Oh. You know she's getting married. Gotta be close to the mic there. Secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. No, 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 don't do that. This dude just randomly came to me. Yeah. I say bye after Any one question. Around? They camp nearby, but look like nothing from epic poetry. Ill and starving. Many have perished. Are they peaceful? Entirely. Mr. Tobias sought to help them. But the she-elf later refused human charity. Typical elves. Farewell. Oh, wait, 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 stop, stop running away, you bastard. Why is everyone coming out of this? Yes? Their freaking How's houses. Your oh, oh, <clears throat> Your hands fine and slender, your hips big and tender, all night and all day, Spin my head a painful way. That's a bit kinky. Enough. Speak no more. Yes. <laughs> this fucking Bye. guy is scratching his ass right in front of us. Who the hell are you? Somehow I can't forget the maiden of the lakes. Okay. Uh huh. Let me. Where's the quest? The quest that'll show me where the freaking inn is. The. Rotating. Oh, okay, so it's I love weddings. in a whole different area. Nice. Well, before we head to that different area, might as well check the blacksmith and the baker. So this guy's looks like he's having a nightmare. Scary stuff. I'll just take some of your good ale or liquor. What brings you here? A wonderful aroma. Whoa. I'm cooking a traditional Temerian sauerkraut stew. Any work for me? If memory serves, a witcher is like a magical warrior. Uh. I slay monsters, drowners, kikamores. I'll doubtless need you sometime. Alright. Any work? Yes, I'm having terrible trouble with my husband. What happened? That old fool found himself a succubus. Whoa. Thinks I can't hear them frolicking at night. I'm to get rid of the succubus. I learned an old folk remedy from my mother. I'll need nine handfuls of glimmering dust from the hair of noon wraiths in the fields. What about payment? I have this herb manual listing local herbs. Bring me dust to scare off the succubus and you'll have the book. I got you. So I'll have to slay some Neiman Reefs. I'll take the job. Deal. Alright. Should venture into the fields and return with nine handfuls of shimmering dust collected from the Neiman Reefs. Okay. Uh. You must be an excellent cook. Oh, it's nothing. My husband slaughtered a pig, and I decided to make sauerkraut stew. My stomach is rumbling. You're quite thin. I made ribs in mead yesterday. Care for some? Oh, sure. Gladly. There you are, bless you. Thank you. Farewell. That's very nice of her. Inventory full <laughs> drop an item. Here's the port. You, sir, step here. What is it? I overheard you speaking with my wife. I have an offer for you. Not interested in parting with your charming demoness? My wife exaggerates about the frolicking. As a man, you understand innocent entertainment harms no one. Uh -huh. What do you propose? A fork spell will put the succubus to sleep for a while. 
my wife will calm down and afterwards, I can quietly awake the succubus. What do you need? Nine handfuls of shadow dust from devourers. They appear in the fields at night and are very dangerous. What will I get in exchange? I have red meteorite, which can improve your sword. Or perhaps you'd prefer gold. Say, 500 orins? Uh, yeah. Sorry, I promised to help your wife. I'll help yes. your wife instead. So, oh, yes, Anger we had to talk to you about the, the legend, legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good. But remember, I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making, not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and... Can you tell okay, me about the armor? What? As you wish. The technologies I made, okay. as I said, yeah. only parts of the... Any suggestion? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable. Alright. What do you need? Nine handfuls of... What will I have? Oh, just this again. Sorry. Yes? Surprised he's not pissed about it. Fed it. It's gonna help his wife. Ruined sword. What do you mean? Critical effects. Knocked in. Silver. Silver sort of an earth ruin and two moon runes. Oh. Alright. What if I had three moon runes? Oh. Maybe this is just what we needed. You know what? I'll just do this. Critical effect knockdown plus 75% increases the opponent's sensibility, sensitivity to silver. Yeah, I'll buy it. Fuck it. There we go. So now my, my silver sword is now a rune sword. Nice. Take off those runes out of my inventory. Give us some more space. Sphere bueno stuff. Just organize this, and now we'll uh, talk to the baker, buy some bread. Where's the baker at? Adams, or maybe we'll talk to Adam too. Might as well check out every house. You know, see what they got to say. Or was Adam the poet guy? Uh, yeah, Adam is the poet guy. Bye. Later, lad. What do you have in your mm, torch? No. Can't open the chest, old shell, books, we go go. No, not, I wanted the book. RS gift, for already read the, hmm. Okay. Getting as many of these as I can. No, I don't, god damn it, it's the wrong one. There we go. I guess I don't need these. Let's drop him. Keep the slot open. Eight minutes in. Haven't gotten much action in yet. Hmm. But we have gotten some information. Baker's house is over here. If I could just... Oh, I, I was actually able to get past it. Nice. Wedding guests. There's Senior Baker. How's it going, lad? You followed the aroma of my fresh bread? Uh, sure. You could say that. All my goods contain finest flour and a secret ingredient from a grateful nymph. Okay. I need something. How may I help? Uh. I've got 20 orans for five loaves of bread. Bread is five orans a loaf, and five loaves will be 25 orans. Okay. It's five loaves. Alright. Good. So I got the bread for the elves. It should 
help him out a bit. How may have any other secret ingredients? Sadly, though I know one recipe I haven't been. What's that? Can't say. I would need white honey. Do I have white honey? I don't think I have. You know what witches do? Of course. Witches are like sauce. Worse. Yeah. Their balls are wilted. Whoa. I'll leave. Got one in the family? Ooh, bad luck. <laughs> Holy shit. No, Poor Gerald. Just getting bullied by an alchemist spectral oil. Okay. White honey. Do I have white honey? I don't think I do. What the hell's white honey? Is that a potion? Oh, I do have white honey. Okay. How many? Gifts, white honey, Ta reduces toxicity to zero. Okay. White honey. Can I take the doll and go before I change my mind? Wouldn't mind a bite. What though? What? Really? That's what I got. Sugar doll. Am I gonna need it for something? I've already resist for something else. Yeah, here's the sugar doll. Restores vitality or can be given to someone. Probably gonna need it for someone. Anything else? No. Okay. Up next, we're gonna check out Selena's house. And then we'll head to the which we'll find some quests, do a bit of monster hunting and whatnot. Peasant woman, peasant. Oh, someone that's not a rude douchebag to me. Nice. Is this her? No, just a peasant woman. Is it this one? What the hell? Selena says, there we go. Ma'am. I. who the fuck? Greeting. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Oh. <laughs> How yourself? Okay. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? Why weren't you in your own goddamn house? I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesima. Alright, how'd you get a funded Julian guy here? Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they- Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Okay, I think I got the hag he was talking about. Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold, I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying. Okay. I heard there's going to be a wedding. Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working, and honest fellow. That's a good combo. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. What the hell did That's I do to you? That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. Okay. Know where I can- He's often sitting by the altar of the Lady of the Lake. Some- I see. He always returns. Yeah, you tell that to him. I haven't seen him in ages. Beastie. Okay. Any work- a creep, they say I thought I had the evidence. Don't I have the proof? I guess Fair. not. God fucking did. Okay. And where's Selena at? This is- This is Selena's house. I guess she's just walking around or something. Ah, okay. Uh, and she's not here. So, before we move on to a different area, uh, I'm gonna seek Julian. Bachelor leaders, Julian. Julian's budding. Okay, well. There we go. Ah, uh, true. I'll share what I know of that. 
Uh, I guess I got something to eat. Have some meat. Tip tip. Listen well. Build a slink into how one fends off. Interesting. T okay. I probably already had the information. Oh shit, so I was driving. Right outside my goddamn window. But I probably had the information, that's why I didn't get me anything yet. So we're just gonna head over to the hang finally. It only took 14 minutes. And we'll see what's up. I'll just show what's on the way there since this is the first time. Oh, it's nice and fancy. Uh, oh. It's not even a new area. What the hell? Collapsed bridge, ruins, passage to the fields, only to investigate this ruins. Healers. Uh, what the fuck? Alright. I'm a distant relative of Alina. What a pleasure. What the hell is that? That's weird. Oh, I love weddings. Are you taking a god fucking damn? <laughs> so is this the Selena chick? Alina Selena? Very good naming. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. Okay. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Well, oh, how I hate that nymphette. So much for sounding like a jealous bitch. Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe, I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave? Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. Whoa. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. Holy shit. Uh. <laughs> I have the ring. Show me. It must be more beautiful than Alina's engagement ring. I don't even know if I do have a ring. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Gold diamond ring. There's a diamond ring. That's the ring. So be it. I'll show Alina I can have any man. Whoa, is this chick really that Kiss easy? Me. All right. Oh, okay. It's a random ass ring. This chick's just thought. What are those creatures in that bush there? Oh, this is, huh. There she goes. Hey, wait, wait, wait. There's something else I gotta talk about. Right. Okay. Well, I banged her. That was interesting. Anyway. Okay, so I'll uh, take a look at these contracts real quick. Then I'll skip to after I do. Okay, so a few of the things we already had. We had the ones for the Alps. I was gonna say asps. We had the basilisk, and uh, we haven't done the centipede car carcasses or the barrel one yet. But we had three contracts that we finished. Why are you gonna be so rude? That's unfortunate. Um, let's see. Healer's hut was to my left. So who's the healer? Oh, I'll check with the healer first. See if they need anything. That fucking it is Abigail. What the hell? I completely forgot she came. She appeared yet again in this game. Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, truth, what's wrong with your character? Stirping up. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. 
Uh, okay. Did you post this notice? About the devourer's teeth? I need ten for a love potion. Then I'm off to hunt devourers. I await your cat. All right. Why? <laughs> Why is Geralt so excited? Come on, come on, come on, come on. Don't go back to bed. Do you know how early it is? What you... Whoa. Whoa, Les. What did I ever do to you? I saved your ass. Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail. Remember the cave? Yeah, I didn't fuck the you. The past is past, nothing more. I, I didn't, I didn't have sex with her. Is he trying to? <laughs> he's trying to fuck her now. Remember when I denied you in the cave? Uh, well, uh, I kind of regret that. How about we bang now, okay? Um, let's see. I don't think there's anything I need. No, my goodness. I just gotta get those teeth for you. Wait. Okay, got all of that. Just Robin having a go. Well, she is. And yeah, now we'll uh, go today. It's just 20 minutes into the episode. We haven't been dicking around or anything. No. Literally dicking around with um, Selena. <laughs> I'm gonna have to fight one guy here for the fist fight. Uh, Carol, there he is. Is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Oh yeah, I have a Dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Sad stuff. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know. Something. But I might have lost it. Whoa. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Shani. Hand it over. Where's Shani? Shani! Where's Shani? What's going on, Les? Spoke with Dandelion and learned your whereabouts from him. I thought it would be a good idea to send him to you, as it will keep him out of your shot, the local gossips. Also wanted him to deliver this letter and maybe take care of you a bit. Really concerned about. Holy shit, this is a lot to read. Should be by your side. Dandelion was always a loyal friend before you read and sit down. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I know. I found him. Yes. Just came in through this. You'd make a fine father for Alvin. <laughs> uh, holy shit, Shani. Okay. Yes, yeah, so you're best girl, Shani. You just write a lot. Uh, I know you don't like that. What else can I write? Come home as soon as you can, my boys, Shani. More Shani. Anything else, yep. my boy Dandelion? What happened in Vizima? Who knows? I left soon after you. Though I did hear that you staged quite a bloodbath. Sometimes killing is necessary. Now, don't get offended, but has killing people become a pleasure for? No. Hmm. I only kill humans in self-defense. <sighs> like the old days. Try as we might, we just can't seem to cull the population of vicious SOBs. I sense we haven't seen the worst of them yet. Be careful. I will. Yeah, Geralt's not a douchebag to be honest. Okay. How do you like the country? It's wonderful. Wine, wi- Dice? I've played. Didn't think the- People here go wild for it. It's in- Practically a profession. I'm practically a Gerald, not to disappoint you, but you need to practice before you're anywhere near my level. Whoa, Dandelion. Come on, you're like a brother. I wouldn't have the heart to skin you. Start with Tobias Hoffman or Julian. There we go. Okay, so I have to play dice with those lids. I wanted to answer that letter. Good idea. I have... Uh... Dear Shani. Your romance is blooming. I don't want to talk about it. I'm sure she's worried about. <laughs> uh, anyway. And I can ask her to notify Fultus immediately of Hedda's dunes. Maybe I can just. She could find that interesting. Sit down and write it. I wouldn't want to put her at risk by uh, sending her to Fultus, to be honest. 
Hey, hey, hey. We're not done here yet. How do I get the letter off? How do I get the letter Bessie the fisherman. So. It'll be a master. And the story? Engaging and straight from life. Aim to write about. Not as well as you th <sighs> See. It's just talking random shit. Doesn't matter. Here's the fist fighters. We'll be uh, there off screen. Waitress. Do you? Sometimes they have interesting things to talk How about. Two innkeepers? Mama and Papa own the inn. Mama won't let me speak to strangers. Whoa. As a waitress, you have to talk to strangers. Not true. Only regulars visit our inn. Got you there. Whoa. I'm a stranger. You're Geralt of Rivia. Master Dandelion sang a ballad about you, so I know you. Oh, wingman. Got me there. <laughs> How can I help? <laughs> Dandelion the wingman over here. Nah, that's not what I wanted. I wanted a room, but... Give me a second. How uh, any rooms? Any room. Five or... Five orans. Not interesting. Not in but... There we go. Didn't I have a freaking mission for one of the innkeepers here? Welcome to my inn, traveler. Greetings. If you're weary, rest. If you wish food or drink, call my daughter. I will. Make yourself at home. Thanks. May I help you? Uh-huh. I have questions. Ask, Tra What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. Tell me about Tobias. He lives in the village, but prepares for a wedding. I'll talk to him in- If he's occupied, try speaking with his future son-in-law, Thanks for the advice. May I help you? I have no idea where Julian is. I have- Ask? What's special? Murky. The underwater- okay. Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Oh, that's- <laughs> Vodianoi? An ancient underwater race. Tell me about them. They appeared long ago, before the city- They produced okay. their warriors. An underwater right. race of rational beings. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Just try to speed through these, because I've been talking a lot this episode. And, uh, not much action has happened, so this is going to be Greetings, sir. spacious to have getting a lot of people to fall asleep, you think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? You all look the same. Ah, damn innkeepers. Ah, I need wyvern eggs for my famous Whoa, omelets. Whoa, your voice has completely changed, my Game dude. three. Wonderful. Here's your coin. Gracias. How can... Okay. Where's the... There's a lot. I'll find... How can Already I... know. Any interesting... Oh, wedding. That's what. Yeah. He, oh, so he is staying here to Julian. Yes. Uh-huh. Stories. You must know some interesting stories. Sure. I'm... <clears throat> Long ago, in a bad all three. Don't interrupt. You want to hear the story or not? I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove you. She was born a princess who wanted for nothing. Had she lived in palaces okay. by hundreds of knights? Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother That's and took she gained a new family at Caer Moran, the hold of the witches. She learned to fight. Yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. The witches feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed she studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted, but war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the Witcher and the Sorceress denied death's call. Fate cast her to foreign shores. Yet she returned. What is the story when she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the Witcher and Sorceress. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the Witcher. The Sorceress died trying to revive him. The girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. 
What's that matter? Hmm. One thing. I feel like that's important. Yes. Cirilla. Hmm. All right. You look sad. Can I help? Perhaps. Crooked Lou and Bucktooth Bow stole a case of <laughs> nice fire names. water. Return it, and a useful artifact is yours. What artifact? It was a jest. Not funny. Your question reminded me of some old games. I couldn't resist. This guy's a cheeky bastard. No matter. <laughs> How can I help? Uh, you can Farewell. by not being such a freaking cheeky bastard. Well, uh, yeah. Oh, that's it for this episode, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching. In the next episode, we'll talk to the Julian guy, and uh, hopefully get some action in. So yeah, see you next time.